I don't think I ever committed to being a professional artist until I found myself doing it. I find myself doing uh, the kind of art that, that uh, I'm compelled to do. And it can be architectural, or it can be in the studio, or it can be inspired by a sense of purpose, or by a sense of enjoyment of beauty, or just the pleasure of working with your hands in three-dimensional sculpture. I think uh, the outcome is the issue, and that the medium one has to select uh, to to make it successful uh, is the medium of choice. And if you don't already, if I don't already know about it, it's fun to learn about it. I became aware that experience is the foundation of our of our lives as artists, and the there, it's effective in direct proportion to our internal life and our response to that stimulus. The first thoughts of the Geosphere Project began in the middle 80s. Uh, I'm, I'm also uh, very interested in science. I guess I'm an artist-scientist. And uh, the first evidences of global warming were very clear in the middle 80s, along with deforestation and, and the uh, reduction of the protein content uh, of the species of the sea, and uh, acid rain was, from industry, was destroying many rivers. In 1990, uh, shortly, shortly after completing the, um, the Earth from Space, uh, I received a call from uh, Mr. Gore. He was a senator at the time and was interested in of course, the environmental subjects back then. And he asked to use the Earth image. Fifteen years later, um, I was approached by the folks who decided to make a film of Mr. Gore's slideshow presentation. So I, I worked very hard to give them a, a high-quality image. And lo and behold, um, it was a tremendous success. Uh, Americans liked best financial success. It was success as a, financially for the filmmakers. And uh, then it was honored uh, with a Oscar. And Mr. Gore got his Nobel Prize. And here's all this great response. Uh, to the same presentation that we were both working on in 1986. I'm 77, so I'm not anticipating uh, several decades of future work, uh, but I'm doing a, a sculpture and painting in the studio now, and one main piece. I'm making a, a, a monument. The subject is war and religion. I don't have any illusions about stopping wars, but I, um, I do have a view of, of another way of looking at it. And I'm very inclined toward projects that um, have purpose, and the purpose may be grand and, uh, and way out of proportion to somebody working in their studio, but maybe not. Uh, we'll see. But I'm, I'm uh, directing my time to that. I'm not sure how I'm able to combine art and science with the same level of interest. Uh, we're, each of those uh, activities is supposed to come from a different side of one's brain. Um, so I guess I have to uh, plead guilty to having the two sides of my brain connected and I can't be responsible for that. I'll just um, I'll just uh, express my gratitude because it's been it's made a very enriched life for me to to be able to bring these together in my work.